Hey guys, this is a video in my MATLAB tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can integrate using MATLAB. I'm going to go over both definite and indefinite integrals. For indefinite integrals, I'm going to show you how you can add the constant of integration. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's integrate the function x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6 as an indefinite integral. We need to define x as a symbolic variable so that the function will be treated as a function of x. So we'll type in symx x. We've just declared our system. So let's type in f equals x cubed plus 2 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 6. I'm going to suppress this. And next, I'm just going to use the integration command, so int, and then inside a parentheses, I'm going to have f, so we're integrating f. So if you're doing it as a script, make sure to save it and run. And there we go. The function has been integrated. And notice that I didn't have to tell MATLAB that this is being integrated with respect to x since the system's already uh, identified and there's only one variable, MATLAB already knows. If there are more than one variable, then you might want to tell MATLAB this way that it's being integrated with respect to X. But in this case, we don't need to do that. Quick note, you can alternatively do these in the command window if you don't want to save anything. So let's clear this out. Uh, so you could just do SYMS X uh, F equals X cubed plus two times x squared plus four times x plus six, suppress that, and then do int of f, and you get the same answer. It is probably also worth pointing out that you can directly type in the function inside the integration command without using f equals. So if I didn't want, didn't want to do f equals, I could just I could have just typed this into here directly. And if I run it, well, I get the exact same thing. It's just preferences. Uh, do whichever way best suits you. Notice that MATLAB doesn't add uh, the C for indefinite integrals. One way to get around that is to do the following. Define the system. Uh, as a function of x, j, and c. I chose j just as an arbitrary uh, variable. You can do, uh, you can choose any letter at all, but I'm choosing j just because uh, that's the first letter that came to mind. So I'm going to say j is equal to the integral of this, uh, and then I'm going to suppress that. Finally, I'll say j plus c, and that's my answer. Uh, and then, when I run it, it adds the C for me. And one more thing, uh, if you don't like looking at it in this form where we have six times C uh, and the exponents are uh, given to you in the, uh, with the caret symbol, you could use the pretty command. So pretty answer. So when I run this, the pretty command gives you the exponent as a superscript, gives you the fraction with a fraction bar. And uh, if you like looking at it this way, maybe uh, you'll prefer the pretty command. Also, if the answer is factored by MATLAB instead of being distributed, for example, let's integrate uh, x cubed plus three times x squared plus five. If we integrate this, uh, let's actually get rid of this as well, the pretty command. So if we integrate this, we get a factored version of the answer, but I want this uh, expanded. So I can just simply use the expand command. So expand answer. And when I run it now, it will expand it for me. And on top of that, I could use the pretty command if I want to. 
looks a lot better. Before we move on to definite integrals, let's just integrate a trigonometric function. I'm going to integrate secant, uh, secant squared of x. So I'm going to open a parentheses secant x and then square the whole quantity. And if I run it, it will give me the answer. So you can type in whatever function you need uh, MATLAB to integrate in, inside uh, the integration command and it should do it for you. Now let's move on to definite integrals. Evaluating definite integrals on MATLAB is quite straightforward, especially if you know how to integrate uh, definite integrals using MATLAB. Let's say we'll integrate x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5 from 0 to 1. Uh, so once again, I'm just going to define my system as just x. And I'm going to use the integration command and I'm going to type in x cubed plus three times x squared plus five. And this time I'm going to type in a comma and then type in the first uh, of the, uh, I'm going to first, uh, the first number I'm going to type in is the lower bound, which is zero for this example, and uh, another comma, and finally the upper bound, close off the parentheses. If we just run the script, I get the answer as 25 over four. Let's do a trigonometric example. I'm going to integrate sine of x from zero to pi and just run the command. And I get the answer as two. Just a quick note, MATLAB is working in radians by default. We'll discuss degrees and radians conversions in future videos. There you have it. That is how you can use MATLAB to integrate. You can play around with the script and change codes to your preferences but that is the general idea of how to do it. I hope this video has been helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series and the MATLAB series. Until next time, take care guys.